In this video I'm showing the computer control program that we're working on. Um, Jim brought it up and we're running the boiler using it right now and just taking some readings and trying to get the numbers to be correct. So we're just hooking things up and the numbers are not all correct yet. But what this is going to do is to allow the computer to run the power system and then if anything's wrong it can sound off a buzzer to call me to come out and take a look or else it can take action on its own. Um, so we can change, the computer can change the fuel feed rate, it can monitor the flue temperature of the combustion exhaust gases and decide whether they are staying hot enough or not and so it can adjust the fuel rate if uh, it wants them to be hotter or cooler. It's calculating powers, although the only one that we've really uh, dialed the numbers in on to where it's pretty close to correct is the boiler power, which is reading about 116, 17 right now. And um, that's in 1000 BTUs per hour. And the flame power is for now a bogus number because we don't have the correct airflow. And so the efficiency is a bogus number and the chip fuel power is a bogus number. But we'll get those in as we work on the program. On the upper left across the top of the screen it shows chip temperature which is basically outside ambient close to the boiler so we're sort of in the room. It's a little colder than that actually outside but inside the tent zone it's warmer than outside. Um, the inlet water, that thermocouple's bad, the inlet water's really warmer than that so that needs to get fixed. Outlet water's reading about correct and flue temp is reading correct as far as we know as is boiler exhaust. So the um, the figures for powers are kind of in there and about right. The program can turn the blowers on and off, the pump for water on and off. Eventually this will uh, run a variable speed pump for the water when we are driving the turbine so that it can maintain a steam temperature by varying the water flow rate and then we're adding a few buttons like fuel shut off and normal shutdown and stuff like that and then you can change the plot duration. Um, why don't you change the plot to 60 minutes? So we can change the plot duration. It's just like a, a strip chart recorder plot and um, current time is at the right hand side and then the the strip charts moving to the left and that shows behavior over about the last 15 minutes that we've been running it. So that's what the latest is. It's not a big deal but it's kind of the beginning of getting it dialed into where it's something useful. 